What is going on guys, Corrosive Bullet here, and we are going to be going over some new set reveals for Red and Blue. Um, it's been a little bit since we would had one of these, uh, but I'm kind of like trying to pace these videos out a little bit, so that way I can kind of go over specific archetypes as opposed to just every th single thing that got dropped um, over the course of an extended period of time. I want to make it a bit more focused for... Um, for specific decks with each video so in this video we're going to go over the red and the blue archetypes because we got a uh, we got a good chunk of stuff that got announced and re uh revealed for that um and then over the course of the next couple days when yellow and green get a couple of their drops we'll talk about it there uh there's already been some discourse on some of the stuff that's been revealed but we'll talk about that in a later video either way if you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see more breakdowns of these types of cards uh, and these reveals, let me know down in the comments below, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So, before we actually get into some of the red and blue reveals, uh, let's go over uh, something that happened maybe around last week. Uh, they announced uh, the Super Combos. So let's take a look at the Super Combos, shall we? Uh, we got a Super Combo Rebriant. Nope, that's not a Super Combo. We got a 7-drop Jocko Super Combo. We got a Old Kai... 7 drop super uh, super combo and then we got an android 16 super combo that's it <laughs> that's all i'm going to discuss about that uh no uh in all seriousness um this took they took four days to announce all four of these super combos and it's a little disheartening to see something like that and very stagnant in terms of their actual release schedule the reveal schedule because there's no way to there's no specific way to really search for super combos they none of these super combos do anything additional and for people who are only know fusion world and don't know how some super combos worked in master duel or masters um super combos in masters uh some of them had specified effects um some of them allowed you to uh draw a card when you played them others allowed you to um swap them out after uh and swap them into your energy and play a card from your energy um or from your drop like there's super combos and masters had varying effects and unfortunately right now with set two on the horizon it's looking like there's not going to be anything crazy with um super combos still um whether down the road they decide to do something with them uh has yet to be really seen but um i think I've, the only thing I think that they can do right now, and hope maybe with some with some reveals down the line, they might give us some more options um, to kind of make these searchable. But like, like this is a, like Rebrand's a tournament of power unit, so like a tournament of power searcher would actually be kind of nice to be able to pull this. Um, Jock aliens don't have any sort of representation in terms of uh, searchability, so that's Jocko's like whatever. Uh, Old Kai, technically speaking, based off lore. Old Kai is actually a character that allow that uh, fused with an old witch using the Patara earrings. So you could make the argument that Old Kai should have the Patara tag and should be searchable with the Supreme Kai that we revealed in a previous video. Um, however, he's not, so that's a little unfortunate. And I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I, I there may or may not be a searcher for androids. I feel like this 16 may be drawable. Maybe from the Dr. Giro cards in green. I'm not sure, but super combos definitely are a little, are kind of like whatever. They go doing, spending four days to go over super combo reveals, I feel like is a little ridiculous. They could have just put them all in one day and like just kept going on, but it is what it is. So nothing crazy as always. Um, and for some reason, this is not going well. So we're going to have to, you're, we're going to skip over some stuff here. <laughs> You're going to see some reveals before we talk about it. But we'll talk about blue first. So uh, they announced this Goku Black. Uh, he's a 4-drop, 30k, 5,000 power. Um, stat lines, it's okay because it's by, based off stat lines, this is a little weaker than the vanilla Goku Black. Um, but his ability could actually be very viable. So when attacking, if you have 7 or fewer cards in your hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of 2 or less. And place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. Um, I've not been the craziest fan of bouncing stuff back in blue uh, during set one. Um, I am a big advocate for having more options of placing stuff at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's a much stronger skill. 
and gives you a little bit more control. And considering that blue is more of a control type deck anyway, uh, being able to manage not only your board, but your opponent's board as well, I feel like bottom decking is just better for blue. Um, the difference, uh, the thing with this though, is that this really builds up the Goku Black deck. Um, the Goku Black deck, you could utilize this card uh, come turn three, um, maybe turn two at the earliest if you uh, if you get the setup for it. Um, and being able to play this turn two, turn three is actually pretty good. I mean, I think I think you could see that not only is it thirty thousand power, which is really strong, um, but it's being able to just control the board in the early game is really good, while also having a strong beat stick from the beginning. Um, now it's a little. Now you obviously need to have the right setup. You need to have the Zamasu to get the block, the Goku Black ability off. Um, so you wouldn't really be able to play this turn two. You might be able to use this turn three. Um, turn two, you'd only be able to use this if you go if you're going second. So uh, there's a possibility that you could do this. But in terms of late game potential, he's not really all that great. He's just kind of a really strong option to throw early on in the game and help give you some board control. Um, I'm trying to think of like something that's like two costs that would actually like help you at, help blue out or to bottom deck a, a two costs or less like what what's an option that would be good to do um uh, i know red has like the uh the promo card for the two cost uh goku that gains 5000 on awaken leader uh that that would be a good option for this card um, but most times that's playing late game for red and not so much early game. So you could do the standard promos for blue, uh, blue and red, um, uh, second form Frieza in yellow. You could probably use this on. So there's options for this card, um, that can hit some pretty strong, like staples, um, in those matchups. But in terms of late game, you're probably better off running the vanilla as opposed to this guy. Uh, this ability doesn't really, uh, help. Too much in that regard but it's not a bad option it's not a bad option and it only makes the goku black deck better in my opinion having that uh option is always a good thing uh then we got this zamasu fused um if you so he's four he's also a four cost he's 25k 5k combo uh probably not as good of a stat line as the other goku black but it's a bit his ability is where he really shines so when attacking if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, you draw a card. So he's a, he's a drawer, which is good. Then when he's KO'd, you play this card from your drop in rest mode. Then you can't play Zamasu Fused for the turn. So there's a little bit of contention that I would need to check rulings on here. But from what I've seen in discussions, from what it sounds like, you can't get this guy off the board based off of what I've seen people talking about. Um... When it says you can't play Zamasu Fuse for the turn, I think, uh, I'm think i pretty sure by ruling it's referring to from hand. So basically, this guy coming back in rest keeps him on board like indefinitely. And if your opponent decides to keep swinging onto him, it's not going to really have much of an effect. Um, and I mean, he's 25,000, 25, so he can attack the Zamasu leader, he can attack the Broly leader. Um, he allows you to draw a card and kind of stays on board in that regard. Um... And he's also Patara, so he's searchable. Um, it's a it's a pretty good card, I think, for the Zamasu uh, the Zamasu deck. Personally, I mean, you could maybe throw uh, throw this guy in the um, in the Goku Black deck, but you wouldn't be playing him till late anyway. And there's probably better stuff you could probably play, depending on what other reveals they have. But um, this is this Zamasu card, I think, is pretty good. And that's it. And that's this is all with the assumption that I'm understanding the rulings correctly. And um, what the conversation that's going on online is accurate um, in that this guy can't really be removed off board. Now, obviously, Red can do some stuff to this guy. They can they can neg him down to zero and he can be removed that way because that's not technically a KO. Um, I mean, uh, and then obviously he can get locked into rest by yellow and stuff like that. But um, I think this is a solid option for blue. It gives blue a little bit more sustainability. It gives them an option um for uh, the mid game to not only have a little bit more of an aggressive play style, but to also keep your board going. Um, it's it's really it's really nice to see something like this, and I only hope that Blue keeps getting uh, good options 
that will only improve it as they keep revealing cards for the next set. So now on to red. Um, red, we got Hellas, Hells, Hilles. I, I, I don't know how you pronounce her name, but uh, she's a four drop, 25k, 10k combo, pretty decent stat line, all things considered, pretty good. Her on play effect is choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 30,000 power or more, and it gets minus 20,000 power for the turn. This is a really good card for the green matchup. Um, and, and even for uh, some of the uh, even for some of the yellow matchup as well. Uh, blue only has like two options, and they're uh, blue has two options in terms of late game, but they're not. Um, it's not anything like too crazy. Um, it's the double striker uh, and the Zamasu, and the Zamasu. I don't feel like every blue deck is running the Zama the six drop Zamasu. Um, I feel like that's probably more of a niche run, and so this affects more the double strike. Um, and then red right now really doesn't have much in the way of power like that either. Um, they have the double strike Goku and that, and uh, the secret rare, and that's kind of it. Um, it's a good option. Excuse me. It's a good option for red. I think having more negging power gives a little bit more control. Um, that being said, depending on what else gets revealed this set, I don't know if this is something you want to completely run a four of. It might be something that you might want to run maybe two as like an option. Um, again, it's a universe two card, got a destruction, so it's not tournament of power. Um, so it's not going to be searchable. It's not going to be playable with the Goku leader. Um, there's no card that's able to search for her right now, so that that kind of hurts her uh, her viability just a little bit. Um, but I mean, her her on play ability is pretty strong, and it, it definitely affects the Broly uh, the Broly card in, from the Broly starter deck. Um, being able to take that Broly from a 45 to a 25 is actually really strong. Um, and most cards, uh, you couple this card with maybe a Beerus, you could probably I could see more use with with her. Uh, in a Beerus deck than any of the other decks in the game. Uh, Beerus really wants to have control of the board, being able to play um, cards that do neg uh, your opponent's battle cards. So I could see some viability for Hellas in the Beerus deck. Um, but in terms of like every other deck, I don't really see much use for her. But it's still a good option for Red, in my opinion. Then we go on to the next big reveal. We got 17. Um, he's 3 cost, no combo, 25k power. Stat line isn't all that crazy, but his ability is what makes it is what really makes up for it. So he's got two permanent skills. Your leader with Universe Seven and its special traits gets five thousand power. That's really strong because it allows you because we already know the the viability and strength that comes from the Broly leader and from the um, Zamasu. Uh, it makes it harder to be able to do damage onto your opponent. So. Giving the Super Saiyan Blue T.O.P. Goku leader, as well as the um, the upcoming God Goku leader, extra 5,000 power is really good. That gives that is that basically makes those two leaders pseudo uh, 25Kers um, and puts them on par with Broly and whatnot, um, which is cool. And it's also 5,000 power just outright. It's not even like on Awakening. So like even the base power gets 20k up to 25k. It's which it's really strong. Um, then a secondary ability is if your leader is awakened, this card cannot be KO'd by the skills of your opponent's battle card. Um, this is really, really good. Um, you couple this with the Kefla too, like, because the Kefla is able to play a tournament of power card uh, at three or less. So you could play Kefla and then play this guy right after, and then you already got yourself a really strong board going into turn four and five. Um, Plus, he's a Tournament of Power card, so if there's a Tournament of Power Searcher, then obviously, or, uh, then obviously you get some benefit out of that. Um, Universe 7, I think the extra card searches Universe 7, so that's a searchable card there too. Th this guy's just really strong. He's really strong. He's not going to be, he's not entirely pr um, open to removal. Um, or not, he's not entirely prone to uh, removal, but there, and there's some stuff that can still probably remove him off board. But it's still the fact that both of those abilities are really strong with his power, uh, current stand, standing power is just 
it's crazy. I'm like excited to like I think red might be the go-to deck coming into next set. Now obviously there's other cards that are going to be announced over the course of the next couple weeks, but red is looking really strong. Blue is starting to get there. Um, it remains to be seen about yellow and green right now. Um, but as those cards kind of get announced over the next couple days, we'll make a video and talk about green and yellow when that time comes. So let me know what you guys think about these reveals so far. Um, let me, let me know what you guys want. Uh, tell me what you guys are most, most excited for from set two. What, uh, archetype are you guys looking to run? Uh, let me know down in the comments below, like, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.